What's going on, guys? So we're going to take a little look at um, Apple stock here. So Apple's another one of these stocks that has been doing uh, really a fantastic job the last uh, week, week and a half here. You can see coming off the lows here on March the 15th, we are on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days of just pure insanity, right? Along with a lot of the other stocks in the triple Qs, um, a lot of these stocks came down into that 200 day moving average kind of bounced off. A lot of these stocks put in some double bottoms kind of bounced off. A lot of these stocks are reconfirming 20 day moving averages, 50 day moving averages, and just kind of, you know, flying so where, where I think Apple goes before it starts to kind of trickle around sideways, I think we probably come into the 176, 177 area. That's going to correlate with a lot of price action and, and um, resistance going back to January. So with that being said, as soon as Apple can start to close over 177 and uh, kind of back test that area and kind of hold 177, I think that, you know, we can start testing some of these highs here at 182 183 uh definitely you know not a time where you want to just be throwing in your whole portfolio whole portfolio long now as we're coming into this supply zone here if you are realistically looking to bounce apple uh you know not saying you, you're going to catch it at the bottom but maybe when we started to reconfirm the 20-day moving average right around this 160 to 163 price, I think was a good time to kind of, you know, take advantage of that downward move. You can see uh, it'd been a, a quite some time since we closed over the 20 day moving average. And realistically, when we did recapture that 20 day moving average, we've still gone uh, four days higher. I think, I think uh, this thing still continues to climb. I think it slowly starts to uh, decrease the speed in which it's inclining. I think 177, 176 area could be a little bit of resistance. I think that we can go a little bit sideways at that point. And depending on what we do in the overall market is doing, if we do start to roll over, I would look for 166 as an area to kind of add to your position or bounce it back long. And definitely would look for the 177 breakout on a daily close. That's going to give you room back into that 182. But overall, phenomenal uh, job. Anybody who's been trading uh, this stock for the past week. Congratulations, you guys have made a pretty penny. Just make sure to, you know, kind of take profits along the way. You never want to kind of look at the move that we've had here and just like continue to think that it's gonna go higher. Maybe it does and maybe it doesn't. And realistically, if it doesn't, you want to at least be able to have some of those profits locked in without kind of uh, hurting yourself too bad or giving away all of, you know, like a week's worth of gains. Just keep that in mind, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel here. I do technical analysis on a ton of different stocks. If you guys want me to check something out, kind of want to go over some levels and see where, you know, we can find some areas of opportunity for a trade. Uh, definitely leave me a comment and join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below. And I will see you guys all in the next trading video.